Fatty liver simply means liver full of fat. It happens when fat builds up in the liver. Having small amounts of fat in your liver is normal, but too much can become a health problem. Now the most important thing you should know that fatty liver can lead to permanent liver damage. But on the positive side, it is reversible if you take proper care at the right time. So let's see how you can save your liver by taking some simple measures. First, let's discuss about the stages of disease progression so you can have a clear idea from where you can reverse the disease. In this video, we will mainly discuss about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Fatty liver can progress through four stages. First is simple fatty liver. This is the first stage where there is buildup of excess fat in the liver. Simple fatty liver is largely harmless if it doesn't progress. Now the next one is T2 hepatitis. In addition to excess fat, there is also inflammation in the liver. Next stage is fibrosis. Persistent inflammation in the liver has now caused scarring. However, the liver can still generally function normally. Now the irreversible stage is cirrhosis. In this stage, scarring of liver has become widespread, damaging the liver's ability to function. This is the most severe stage and is irreversible. So up to this third stage, you can reverse the disease and lead a healthy normal life. But before jumping into the treatment part, let's discuss about the signs and symptoms of fatty liver. Here you may experience abdominal pain, loss of appetite, fluid accumulation in the abdomen, weight loss, weakness or fatigue, muscle wasting, nausea, confusion, yellow, itchy skin or jaundice, easy bruising or bleeding. Web-like clusters of blood vessels under your skin, which is called spider angioma. Breast enlargement in men, dark colored urine, pale stools and swelling in your legs. Now let's discuss about the treatment options and how to prevent fatty liver disease. Most important part of fatty liver management is weight loss. Excess weight is major contributing factor for fatty liver disease. Try to lose at least 10% of your weight and it should be gradual. Don't try to lose your weight very fast. The recommended amount of weight loss is 0.5 to 1 kg per week. If you lose weight very fast, then it will actually deposit fat in your liver. So the result will be exactly opposite. So lose weight but in a gradual manner. Next thing you should avoid is alcohol consumption. As alcohol processes through the liver, it will cause injury and inflammation. It will again aggravate the liver damage. So try to completely avoid alcohol. Now according to various studies, regular coffee drinkers have significant decreased risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The risk of liver fibrosis is also less in those people. Drinking 3 cups of coffee per day can reverse or reduce fatty liver disease symptoms. Vitamin E acts as an antioxidant. It is very helpful to reduce liver inflammation and excess fat. However, you should remember that excess intake of vitamin E is harmful for our body as it is a fat-soluble vitamin. The recommended dose is 800 units per day. It is better to consult your doctor before taking any medications. Exercise is very important in treating fatty liver. Exercises like running, swimming, weightlifting will help to reverse fatty liver disease. Vitamin D may also be helpful to reduce the disease progression. Deficiency of vitamin D is associated with fat deposition and worsening of liver inflammation. Mediterranean diet is very useful to treat fatty liver disease. It includes olive oil which contains high monosaturated fatty acids. Consumption of monosaturated fats like olive oil is associated with favorable cholesterol, triglyceride and blood sugar levels as well as favorable waist circumference. It also includes fish like salmon, mackerel and tuna. They are rich in omega-3 fatty acids which decreases the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It contains whole grains, fruits and vegetables which help to reduce the risk of having non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Low potassium level is significantly associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease prevalence. You can increase potassium by eating fruits like banana, kiwi and sweet potato. Choline consumption is very important to reverse fatty liver disease. Liver is the main site for choline metabolism.
Colin is found in variety of fruits like beef, beef liver, egg yolks, chicken breast, fish, shiitake mushrooms, potatoes, legumes, milk, yogurt, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and sunflower seeds. All right, that's all for today. Hope you liked our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.